Good morning mga katribo, it's Wednesday. Welcome to another episode of Straight Talk where we talk about important topics that matter to each of us. This is Gigi Arcilla. Hello mga katribo, good morning. I'm Chito Lozada. Uh, we are live in, on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now on YouTube. Yes, good morning Chito. Good morning, in Gigi. this morning's episode, Extension pa to ng, ano, ng Women's Month. Women's month. <laughs> yes. So, hindi lang one month. Actually, every Bakit day should kaya? be, you know, Women's women's Month. <laughs> so, in this morning's episode, mga katribu, we are joined by the spokesperson of the Philippine Air Force. Siya yung pangalawang spokesperson of uh, the dalawang branch of, ano, Pangalawa na siya. So, dalawang branches no. of service now, the Armed no, Forces female. of the Philippines, female. with a woman, a mm -hmm. lady, who is their spokesperson. Mga katribo, let's welcome Colonel Maria Consuelo Bon, Bunag Castillo. Ang haba ng pangalan niya, Chito. <laughs> Good morning, Colonel. Welcome Good morning. to uh, Daily Tribune Straight Talk. Uh -huh. Good morning, morning Ma'am Gigi, and good morning, Sir Chito, at good morning to listeners and viewers of uh, Straight Talk of Daily Tribune. Uh -oh. uh, mm -hmm. Fresh ang ating umaga ngayon. Yeah. I mean, ang um, ganda ng ating, ano, ang uh -oh. ganda ng ating guest. Kernel. Sana nandito siya. Pero, you know, it brings, uh, it brings, uh, you know, freshness <laughs> to the day. How old are you, Colonel? I'll be there, physically. <laughs> How old are you, Colonel? Oh. I just turned 50 last year, uh, last week, ma'am. <laughs> Come on, 50 ka na? Ipo, yes, ma'am. Oh. Golden girl. <laughs> oh. Doesn't look like your age. Uh -oh. so, Nakakabata um, po talaga pag nasa Air Force ka. Why so, so marami magsisisi, Colonel, <laughs> dahil bakit sinisil nila pinili <laughs> ang ibang, air pressure. ibang branch of service. <laughs> Basta ako, kapag nasa Air Force, mas nakakabata, nakaka-fresh daw po. Kasi talagang malapit ka sa hangin, lumilipad ka ng taas. Kaya, mas nakaka-fresh daw po. Mm. Kaya sa ito, um, lahat naman po talaga siguro nang nagsiservi siya sa Armed Forces of the Philippines because of uh, our passion and heart for the service, talaga kung mas nakakabata ang pakiramdam. Dedication. Dapat pala, oh. Chito, pumasok tayo sa ano, para <laughs> feeling, feeling bata tayo. Okay, <laughs> so let's start. Mukhang interesting ang ating mga tanong. Kasi it's, it's ano, hindi ganun kadalas na, oh, you know, man. laging it's army. Kasi sila yung nasa, nasa lupa, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, uh, bihira yung ano, alam lang natin ng Air Force. Kasi when kita tayo ng aeroplano, mm -hmm. Diba? Yung ating mga fighter jets, yung ating mga C-130. Tsaka may parating biro, yung Air Force daw. Panay Air, walang force. Ah, Pero mukhang may ano na ngayon, may develop, magbago na yung image. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I think it's the first time that uh, the Philippine Air Force has uh, a lady who is na spokesperson nila. Mm -hmm. So, first yeah. time. In office po for uh, almost two years na po. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, Kaya maganda yung that the AFP also recently had their female spokesperson. Bali, she's actually ano, a colleague po. Uh, she's also from the academy. And uh, ano po, masaya po kami na dumadami na po kami yung mga uh, uh, talking heads ng ating armed forces of the mm. Philippines. Hindi lang po kayo masaya. Masaya din po ang, ano, iba, ang, mar, ang lahat ng kababaihan. Oh, Having, you know... Uh, yung BNP eh, sila po nag-start talaga na nagkaroon tayo ng female spokesperson. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, Kern mm -hmm. So, Colonel, so, can you provide our viewers of an overview ng current role and vision ng Philippine Air Force? Yes po. So, your Philippine Air Force po o oh, ang inyong pukbong himpapawid ay isang major service ng inyong Armed Forces of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And we are tasked with the mission to organize, train, equip, maintain, and provide forces in order to conduct prompt 
and sustained air operations to accomplish the armed forces of the Philippines mission. So, kasabay, kasama po namin dito, kakibat uh, po namin ang Philippine Army at ang Philippine Navy, which are also other uh, services under the armed forces of the Philippines. And together po, we conduct uh, operations either uh, within our uh, ano po, service, pero po, normally po, we as the major services, we are the force providers po for the different uh, force employers of the armed forces of the Philippines. Uh, meron po tayong mga tinatawag na force employers. Ito po yung mga um, uh, unified commands natin. Sila po talaga yung nagpla-plano ng mga mission. And ang task po namin as major services is to provide them the forces that they need. Mm, okay. So, ang kumpas, syempre, nang galing <coughs> din sa, sa, ano, sa, sa taas. Right. Okay. So, I'm just wondering, Colonel, uh, gano ba ka... Gano ba kalaki ang Philippine Air Force? I mean, in terms of, you know, personnel. Yes, in terms of personnel, ma'am, currently, uh, nasa 20 plus thousand na po. <coughs> uh, exactly po, nasa 21,359 as of our last count. And uh, this comprises the officers. Um, nasa around 3,000 po yung ating officers. And then we have enlisted personnel. Uh, yan po yung mga sergeant ranks. Uh, nasa around 17,000 plus sila. And then, of course, hindi po uh, natin mababaliwala ang ating mga civilian employees. We call them the uh, civilian human resources and uh, they comprise around 1,300 of our force po. Laki din pala. So, 20,000. Pero compare nyo sa Army, yung Army natin, 100,000. And Air Force halos nagiging magsing laki ho kami ng uh, ng force po. So, Air Force. So, oh, pilot. So, hindi, I mean, so, Air Force, piloto yan. Mm. I mean, syempre, they, 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 fly, they fly the plane. So, ilan po ang piloto ng Philippine Air Force? Yeah, that's... Uh, then, uh, right now, we don't have the exact figures po, no? Pero siguro, <coughs> interestingly, out of seven, pero nasa, definitely, nasa almost, um, po, uh, hindi yan bababa ng 3,000. Uh, later ho, I'll give you the exact figures. Pero siguro, interestingly ho, uh, matatanong nyo later, sigurado yan, ilan ang female pilots natin ngayon sa Philippine Air Force. Ngayon ho, nasa 140 na ho ang ating female pilots. Out of 3,000. Uh, 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 we started training female pilots po kasi in the early 1990s. And gradually po, nag-increase yan ng nag-increase. And uh, of course, mayroon din po tayong mga natural uh, ano, mga natural attrition na tinatawag natin. Mm. Mayroon mga lumalabas sa servisyo for greener pastures. Pero currently, we have 140 female pilots. Yeah. So, and you're one of the 140? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. matanong ko lang. First, mm -hmm. this is a, ano, uh, before we go to, you know, the other questions about the Philippine Air Force. Mm -hmm. Ilang taon ka, Colonel, naging piloto before you assume your job as a, a spokesperson? Um, Ma'am, I graduated from the Philippine Military Academy in 1997. And then, uh, immediately after po, uh, pinag-conduct na kami ng flying training for two years. So that's 1999, I graduated and became a pilot. And then I served for eight years po as a combat utility helicopter pilot po. I flew the UH-1H. Uh, for combat support missions in different parts of the country. And then po, I, I took up some more uh, schooling po and uh, did some desk job. And then I went back to flying again for another four years flying the presidential helicopter po. Oh, ah, okay. ah, I, had, I had flying experience of around 12 years po in total. Out of the 30 years so already I have in the service po. Mm. So, who's the president uh, uh, that you have the honor of uh, flying? Former President Aquino uh, the, the late President Benigno Aquino. Mm -hmm. That's uh, 20, 20, ano 2012 when I flew him. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Very impressive uh, like, yeah, experience. That's right. na amaze ako ng mga ganyan. Ng... <laughs> mga babaeng lumilipad. 
Um, Ako po, kung mas maririnig nyo pa mga kwento ng ating lana ng mga younger breed of pilots natin, talaga mas mai-impress kayo kasi right now po, nag-evolve na talagang Philippine Air Force eh, lalo na in women empowerment. Uh-huh. Almost all flying units of the Philippine Air Force, may mga babae na po tayo. And uh, ang gaganda po mga achievements nila. In fact po, dito sa recent Olens Award of the uh, uh, Republic Defenders, out of the 10 uh, awardees po, we have four female pilots who were awarded. Four? Oh. Awarded po with the distinction of being, you know, uh, ano, accomplished women for this year. Galing, galing. Oh. So, Chita. <laughs> I, I want to know if anybody among the female pilots uh, uh, pilot a uh, jet jet craft. Yes, po. we already have a female fighter pilot po. Fighter and, pilot. Uh, um, more of them are being trained as of this moment po. Ano ano magiging policy ng ano ng Philippine Air Force, you know, in terms of course they they train uh they train uh officers to become pilots. Mm-hmm. So ano ang naging policy ng ng Philippine Air Force na I mean not to lose them, you know, Hindi. Kasi, I mean, there, kumbaga, there's a brain drain eh. Uh, yung mga pumupunta ng commercial, uh, commercial airlines, that that's a greener pasture. Mm. So, how does the Philippine Air Force, you know, uh, limit or, you know, prevent it from, from happening? Mm. Yung magkaroon ng, ng brain drain? Yes, unfortunately, ho, kung talagang umabot na sa point yung pilots natin that they've reached the mandatory number of years of service, like, hindi rin naman po talaga natin sila mapipigilan. Kasi comparatively, napakalaki po talaga nung offer sa labas compared dito sa yeah, Philippine Air Force. No? But as much as we can, we retain them. Uh, first is meron po tayong compensation naman for pilots. Our pilots actually receive 50% of their base pay po. No? And... Uh, yun po yung means natin to uh, compensate them for the uh, ano po, risks of flying kasi talaga napakadelikado rin po ng lumipad. And at the same time, it's also a form also of retention. Uh, kumbaga, yun po yung, yung uh, pag-encourage natin si Canela to continue flying with the Philippine Air Force. And uh, we give them also a lot of opportunities for training, uh, not only here in the Philippines, but we also get to train abroad. So that's also one experience na uh, possibly hindi mo makukuha rin sa uh, labas, no? Pero siguro yun lang kung talagang dinidevelop natin yung uh, ano eh, uh, uh, right attitudes for each, uh, not only for pilots, but for each soldier to really... Uh, continue serving and uh, develop that uh, love for country and uh, that commitment to serve your country. Yun na lang po talaga yung kaya natin ibigay sa kanila para ma-encourage sila magstay sa service po. Ilang ilang taon po ba ang ano? I mean, how many years yung required before, you know, a pilot can, you know, uh, leave Philippine Air Force, eh? you know? Mm-hmm. Usually, oh, we require them eight years of service po. Uh, before they can leave the, uh, no, uh, before they can, uh, oh, may mandatory number of years po. Uh, I'm not just sure po, ayun, sa mga recent pilots natin, kasi alam po, meron na rin kontrata, uh, meron na rin certain number of hours po of flying that they have to uh, comply before they can get out of the service. Parang naman po, masulit natin yung uh, training na natanggap nila kasi they got the training for free po. So, they have to compensate the service with a certain number of uh, years and certain number of flying hours. Po. Mm, okay. You said there are 3,000 uh, pilots in uh, the Air Force. Yes, right now, po, but oh. I'll be giving you the exact figures. Uh, and later. they are flying how many uh, air assets like uh, helicopters oh. and... Uh, Po, napakadami na po ng air assets. No? Kung types of air assets, I believe we have around 30 types of air assets in the Philippine Air Force right now. Um, both uh, rotary and fixed air assets, uh, they come in different forms and sizes and capabilities po. No? We have even uh, unmanned aerial assets that we also fly right now. Mga drones. Yes, ma'am. 
tapo lang lahat ng air assets na to naka <coughs> in ano uh, in uh, oh right now po I just got information we have 1000 1000 sorry po for the ano I, I probably mm, I 1000 lang 1000 uh Philippine Air Force pilots right now and as I mentioned a while ago 140 year females po so yeah. napakaganda 20% pa rin po talaga halos yung ating numbers uh, ng ating female po Mm-hmm. Ganon din po ba kadami, you know, in the previous years na 1,000 uh, pilots? Right now ma- po, oh, mas, may mas... <coughs> po na mataas, pero admittedly po talaga ngayon, kulang tayo, lalo na ang dami po ah, kung mapas- pa. uh, newly acquired air assets mm-hmm. that we have to man. So we are continuously recruiting po for uh, officers. Not only for officers, but the whole mga uh, skilled enlisted personnel who will be tasked to maintain these air assets. Po, kasi mm-hmm. ho ang ang air assets mm-hmm. naman natin hindi lang importante dito mga piloto na pa importante din puro ng ang mm-hmm. ng mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, personnel po who are the mostly enlisted personnel. Okay, mm-hmm. so uh, Colonel, we'll be having a short break. Marami yeah. pa kami. Tanong, na, na-stuck tayo doon eh. Very interesting yung uh, ah, okay. nabanggit mo about, you know, uh, pilots, air assets. So, And being, uh, yes. No, so, uh, being balikan ka po, balik, balik, balikan ka namin, Colonel, and uh, we will be just, uh, we will be having a short break. And this break is brought to you by Angkas, Beat the Traffic, Bayad Center, Hashtag Bigger, Better, Younger Bayad, and you can buy it all. Globe, Atin Ang Mundo. Meralco, ang liwanag ng bukas. SM, we've got it all for you. Smart, live more today. Union Bank, it starts with you. Infuse yourself with the knowledge needed to hone your business skill. Business Sense, a show where we engage with entrepreneurs, startups, and MSMEs in meaningful discussions on business growth and current marketing trends. Airs every Monday. 10 a.m. only on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now on YouTube. Tune in to Daily Tribune's show aimed at addressing the needs and problems of our OFWs from different corners of the globe. Hear about their plights and success stories every Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. only on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now on YouTube. Straight Talk dives deep into present issues of leadership, politics, business, and more. Engage in insightful conversations with industry shakers, government leaders, and trailblazers every Wednesday at 10 a.m. only here on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Madam Colonel, uh, we're back. Uh, um, we're back, mga katribo, and mm-hmm. we're still with uh, Colonel uh, Castillo, the spokesperson of the Philippine Air Force. Yeah, Colonel, I just want to know uh, what are the main challenges facing the Philippine Air Force right now in terms of uh, modernization and uh, readiness, particularly with the, with the threats, maritime threats that uh, we're facing. Oh, dear. Mm. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> Uh, Sir Chito, no, I, uh, if I heard that right, you're asking me about the challenges. The challenges. This is right now. That's correct. Siguro ko hindi lang ko exclusive sa Philippine Air Force ng challenges right now. Mm-hmm. But for the whole armed forces of the Philippines, no, mm-hmm. considering na uh, napakadami kong nating threats na hinaharap ngayon, uh, particularly ho ngayon, ang, ang direction po natin is towards territorial defense. No, because we have to protect not only our territor- territory, our territorial waters, to include our sovereign rights in our exclusive economic zone. Mm-hmm. Ano, hindi lang po sa West, pati po itong mga bago rin natin discover na uh, resources natin sa eastern seaboard. No? Uh, mm-hmm. So right now, the challenge of the Philippine Air Force is really to continuously modernize And uh, with the limited uh, budget that we have right now, we have to make do with what we have and hope that whatever plans and programs that we have set for future acquisitions is sana ko mapondohan ng ating gobyerno. 
Mm-hmm. And we we acknowledge that there are a lot of competing priorities, not only within the armed forces of the Philippines. And dami din pong kailangan i-acquire ng new assets ng ating Philippine Navy and uh, the Philippine Air, ng Philippine Navy, ng Philippine Army. Mm-hmm. Kami din po sa Philippine Air Force, napakadami din po namin wish list, no? To be able to perform our mandate, no? But uh, then we acknowledge that not only within the AFP, but the whole government has other competing priorities even in the other departments that they have to really balance. So I guess that's the challenge right now to make do with what we have mm. to maximize our current capabilities uh, to be able to deliver the expectations uh, of the of our nation if, and of our people from us to continuously defend our territories po. What's what's the top in your uh, uh, wish list? The Philippine Air Force's wish list. Right now, the good thing, naman po, sir. Fighters, yes, sir. Multi-role fighters definitely is on top mm-hmm. of our wish list, po. Uh, maganda naman po ngayon, sir. Uh, based on our AFP modernization program, uh, na sa horizon two na po kasi tayo, at ang dami na po talaga nating na acquire since this. Uh, uh, since Horizon 1, no, napakadami na pong dumating na bagong air assets. Uh, mm. If you recall po, napakatagal po nung lull time natin na wala talaga tayong reliable na fighter aircraft for deployment. And uh, 2015, nag-start na po tayong nagkaroon ng, uh, mat, ano, ng fighter aircraft capability with the uh, coming of our FA, FA-50s po. Ito pong uh, 12 FA-50s na nanggaring sa... Uh, yeah, no? And uh, kaso ko itong FE-50s natin currently uh, limited pa rin po talaga ang capabilities natin to be able to monitor the whole archipelago po and yung breadth ng ating exclusive economic zone that we have to protect. no So, and, and protect and uh, um, kumbaga, bantayan natin kasi uh, yung mga resources dito kailangan talaga uh, mapangalagaan natin yung ating karapatan sa ating sovereign rights, no? So, uh, at the same time, hindi lang po fighter aircraft, uh, yun din yung uh, radar capability natin. It's a good thing radar. po. May, oh, oh. Oh, may dumating na po tayong mga, ano, may mga nakasalang na po tayong acquisition for for radars and eventually when they are all put into place already mas maganda na po yung coverage natin to also monitor yung ating archipelago po to include yung mga exclusive economic zones natin and uh, we also are in need of more search and rescue aircraft uh, combat utility aircraft uh, kasi yung itong mga aircraft na to ito yung mga kailangan na kailangan din natin uh, para sa mga HADR missions kasi ho taon-taon napakadaming dumadaan na uh, disasters and calamities typhoons oh. sa ating bansa and we would need this uh, search and rescue helicopters and at the same time yung ating mga uh, utility helicopters to be able to bring in the uh, ano po yung necessary relief goods to communities that are unreachable by land kapag ho nagkakaroon ng mga disasters and calamities. Uh, to include cargo aircraft din po kasi in tandem ho lagi yan eh. Uh, yung rotary aircraft natin kailangan para sa mga pagpadala ng mga uh, relief goods sa mga communities unreachable by land pero in bulk po whenever we have to bring in bulk of uh, relief goods and transport even personnel for evacuation during disaster and calamities. Kailangan din po natin itong malalaking cargo aircraft. Ilan, ilan po ba ang ating... Ito yung mga C-130, Colonel, right? Yes, C-130s, uh, C-295 aircraft mm-hmm. po. Ilan, ilan po ang ganyan, mga cargo aircrafts? Mm-hmm. Ng... Uh, right now po yung ating C-130s, no? kakalating lang po yung ating panlima. From, uh, ah, so ito, po, ito po ay isang excess defense article from the United States. And then, meron pa din po tayong mga ina-expect pa na ano na po, um, bagong acquisition naman po, may ina-expect pa po tayong parating uh, within the next uh, year po. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I just want to know kung how important are the military uh, uh, or, or the exercises that uh, you have with the 
for foreign uh, forces like uh, the US. Yes po, uh, napaka-importante po no itong uh, mga ating mga uh, regular military exercises mm. with like-minded nations. Uh, ito po we have uh, actually balikatan exercises that we usually mm. do annually. We have Coop Thunder exercises, which is another exercise that we do with our American counterparts. Mm. And we have other Doshin Bayanihan exercise with Japan naman po. Ito naman po is focus on disaster. Also with Japan. Okay. Opo, uh, meron din po tayong exercises with Japan. And we have a lot of uh, exchanges and interactions with different other countries po for subject matter expert exchanges. And uh, Australia po, meron din po tayong military exercises with them. Mm -hmm. We have, we're going to have pitch black exercise in Australia uh, this coming uh, July to August po. So these are important exercise po kasi ho, yung hong, we, we need to develop interoperability with this uh, like-minded uh, uh, countries po, no? Mm -hmm. Kasi kapag ho nag-ooperate tayo, lalo na kapag ho, we, have, we are facing regional threats, we should know how to work together po. Uh, mm -hmm. At the same time ho, hindi lang ho yan for possible uh, ano po, uh, combined or joint exercises in the future with other countries. No? Uh, importante rin ho yan kasi marami ho silang tayong natututunan sa kanila, mga bagong technologies, a new way of doing things. At the same time, sila rin ho, may natututunan naman din sa atin. So it, it's a symbiotic, uh, mm -hmm. it's a symbiotic exercise. Mm -hmm. So Colonel, um, um, upcoming yung ano, Cope Thunder, Cope right? Thunder. So, what, what, what is Cope Thunder? Well, Cope Thunder exercise po is an exercise that we do with the uh, United States uh, Air Force po. And uh, usually ho, itong for the past two years po, kasi last year we had to fight it. And normally ho, focus po talaga siya sa ano, uh, fighter aircraft operations po. And then, uh, aside from uh, uh, flying exercises, uh, we also conduct subject matter expert exchanges with them. Nagkakaroon po tayo ng uh, uh, subject matter expert exchanges not only in uh, flying operations, how to do tactics and operations in flying, but also in maintenance procedures po. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when, when is this, when is this going to be? Uh, this will be conducted po ngayong April na po. Uh, we'll, we're we're yes, going to conduct it from uh, 8 to, uh, from, I'm sorry, from April 8 to 19 for for this, ano po, for this year. So, it will run for almost two weeks mm -hmm. po. And uh, we are also hoping to have another iteration within this year, but we have yet to finalize the date po. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, malapit na pala tong... This month. Oh, this month. I mean, just a few days from now. Okay. So, uh, Colonel, um, ano ba ang mga key priorities ng Philippine Air Force in the uh, next few years? Mm -hmm. Well, our key priorities actually po, kung uh, titignan natin is, it falls in, ano eh, yung different core systems po ng Philippine Air Force. We intend to strengthen our six core systems na tinatawag mm. no, which is uh, as a whole uh, part of our integrated air operations concept po. Uh, the integrated air operations concept is a conceptual framework for the uh, deployment of our air power at the same time in development of our air power and mm. if I just may share po no kasi talaga hong for the past uh, years and decades talagang sabi nga kanina ni Sir Chito ang impression sa Philippine Air Force is uh, all air. puro air all air and no force no pero ho, just to debunk yung yung ating ano uh, yung nagpre-prevail na concept na yan about the Philippine mm. Air Force talaga hong na, uh, lumalakas na ho ang inyong Philippine Air Force and yung trust ho nga na just to become capable credible and sustainable and with that po, we are intending to develop our six core systems po. First is yung uh, uh, core system namin focus on uh, integrated air defense system. And ito po dito, nabibilang sa system na to yung ating uh, uh, territorial defense capability. So it includes yung weapon systems natin, yung command and control systems, at, at, at the same time detection systems. When mm -hmm. you talk of fighter aircraft, radars, Ito na po, when 
kung paano po natin binabantayan ang ating teritoryo at paano rin po tayo nagde-deploy ng air assets natin, fighter aircraft, to be able to intercept yung mga uh, nag-i-include ng ating airspace. So, yun po yung ating tinatawag na air defense system. And then, uh, of course, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, our wish list is to have more multi-role fighter aircraft to be able to have a stronger integrated air defense system for territorial defense. And then secondly, ho, um, sa ating core systems, we also have the surface strike system naman. Ang surface strike system naman po, when you talk about yung ating fixed and uh, rotary assets naman that uh, uh, attack or damage neutralized targets. So when you hear of uh, focus military operation so na nagsusuport ang ating Philippine Air Force sa uh, ating ground units nagde-deliver po tayo ng far power from the air to neutralize enemy forces on the ground yun po yung ating surface strike system and this includes yung ating mga uh, attack aircraft um, meron po tayong iba't ibang klaseng attack aircraft uh, sa ngayon um, tas, kabilang na dyan po yung bago nating uh, dating na T129 attack aircraft from uh, uh, ano, uh, T129 attack aircraft na uh, i-bless po natin yan this coming April po hopefully together with the new C-130 I mentioned a while ago na bago din po dating. And then we also have the third system which is intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance system. Dito naman po yung mga aircraft na dinideploy natin to be able to gather intelligence not only for military operations kasi kailangan mag-search natin kung saan exactly yung uh, position ng enemy. Capable mo natin gawin yan eh. At the same time, kapag ho merong mga uh, disasters na nangyayari, nagde-deploy po rin tayo ng mga intelligence assets natin to be able to check kung saan po yung mga uh, ano, uh, gravely damaged areas para ma-prioritize ng local government kung saan natin ipra-prioritize ang tulong para din ma-check natin yung extent ng damage from the air. So, usually, gumagamit po tayo ng mga UAVs dyan. Hindi alam ng iba. Nagde-deploy po tayo. Kaya, napipinpoint po natin kung saan yung mas malala ang nasalanta at kailangan na kailangan ng tulong. So, that's the intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance system. The fourth system naman po is mobility support system natin. When you talk about C-130s, C-295s, all cargo airlift operations po. Uh, ito po yung mobility support system natin. Uh, kasama na rin dyan po yung helicopters natin na nagtatransport ng relief goods and nag insert ng tropa sa mga engagement areas. Yan po, uh, both fixed and uh, ano po yan, mga, uh, Black Hawk helicopters. Black Hawks. Helicopters. Uh, kasama na dyan po yung ating C-130s and C-295s. Then we have search and rescue system po. Ito, napaka-importanting system din po ito ng Air Force. It, it comprises po yung ating mga search and rescue helicopters. Kung naririnig niyo po yung mga Bambi Bucket operations natin na ginaganap sa Benguet Fires, kasama hmm. yeah. yung possibility na to kasi yun nga po, uh, uh, hindi lang po sila for search and rescue, sila rin po is for firefighting from the air. Yun po. And then, lastly po, itong talagang dinidevelop namin na napaka-importanting system ngayon it, that is in tune with the ano po, uh, emerging challenges ngayon in cybersecurity mm. is yung integrated command and control communication and computer system which is IC4S. Kasi ito naman po yung sistema na mag-integrate ng lahat ng core systems together to be able to give our commanders, our decision makers the right uh, real-time uh, data for them to make accurate decisions to be able to know kung saan po i-deploy yung ating mga uh, air assets po during operations. So, may cyber force rin pala. Oo. Kung force. ang Philippine Army meron cyber battalion, ang, ang Philippine Air cyber Force. Cyber yeah, I force. mean, it's the digital age already, okay. Chito. So, kailangan mag-catch ano, mag, mag, uh, mag up. You know? In fact, po ma'am, uh, kaka, ano lang po, establish po namin ng aming uh, Cyber Wing, the 950th Cyber Space cyber. and Electronic uh, Warfare Wing po. So, ito po ay isang napakabata pang unit. So, we are really uh, focused on developing our uh, cyber capability po. Kasi nga, yun na po talaga ang trend ngayon eh. Correct, yes. Uh -oh. Emerging challenge na <laughs> yun. Kailangan natin tutukan.
Mm -mm. So, we'll have, we still have, ano, yan, na, na, nabanggit ni oh, Colonel right. yung tungkol sa Sila cyber, cyber wing. So, meron akong follow-up question doon. So, Colonel, uh, we'll be right back after a short break. And this break is brought to you by Angkas, Beat the Traffic, Bayad Center, Hashtag Bigger, Better, Younger Bayad, and you can buy it all. Globe, Atin, Ang Mundo, Meralco, Ang Liwanag ng Bukas. SM, we've got it all for you. Smart, live more today. Union Bank, it starts with you. Infuse yourself with the knowledge needed to hone your business skills. Business Sense, a show where we engage with entrepreneurs, startups, and MSMEs in meaningful discussions on business growth and current marketing trends. Airs every Monday, 10 a.m., only on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now on YouTube. Tune in to Daily Tribune's show aimed at addressing the needs and problems of our OFWs from different corners of the globe. Hear about their plights and success stories every Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. only on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now on YouTube. Straight Talk dives deep into present issues of leadership, politics, business, and more. Engage in insightful conversations with industry shakers, government leaders, and trailblazers every Wednesday at 10 a.m. only here on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Yeah, uh, we're back. So uh, we're still with the Colonel uh, Castillo. Castillo. We're still with Colonel Castillo, the spokesperson of the Philippine Air, Air Force. So, Chito, may, yeah, I have a may, question about uh, Cyber Wing. Left up, uh, yeah, the Cyber Wing. And uh, I just want to know if uh, there's a lot of incidences of hacking involving the Air Force. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, oh, uh, may mga nag-detect po talaga kaming attempts no, to mm. uh, uh, hack our systems. Pero siguro yung naging mas obvious po talaga ngayon sa ating mga social media sites, lalo na ako, I yeah. come from public affairs, no? <laughs> So, nagkaroon po ng mga instances, pero not with the official Air Force uh, uh, Facebook page, thank God. Pero mm. meron po tayo sa mga lower units na nagkaroon din ng incident. Pero na-recover naman po namin din agad because of yung uh, tulong na nakuha din namin from our cyber experts. Mm. Okay, kasi recently, yung hacking okay. ng ng Facebook page ng uh, Philippine Coast Guard. Of course, mm. not to mention, marami din mga ahensya na you know, we have, you know, reported uh, incidents of hacking. So, Colonel, uh, pag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa training and education. So, mm -hmm. ano yung mga available na programs to the Air Force personnel? Uh, Ma'am, you mean yung uh, mismong training for our existing personnel pa? Yes, training and education. I mean, to upskill. Yes, ma'am. Actually, meron po kami uh, isang mismo command. One of our biggest functional commands is actually the Air Education Training and Doctrine Command, which is focused on uh, min, ano, uh, managing all the training and uh, training institutions of the Philippine Air Force. No? So, dito sa Air Force talaga, napaka-varied po kasi ng specialization natin. So, it requires also a, a wide range of uh, training uh, for our uh, personnel. So, meron pong, uh, like for officers po, uh, ang trainings natin, once you become an officer, meron po tayo mga professional military education trainings for each level no, of officership. So, meron po tayong basic Air Force officer uh, training, meron tayong uh, tinatawag na squadron level, and then eventually po yung uh, sa general staff corps naman, which they have to undergo uh, in uh, GHQ po alongside with the other major service officers. And then po, um, uh, for specialization trainings for pilots, meron po tayo. Meron tayong Philippine Air Force Flying School. And then we also have separate trainings for those uh, na hindi uh, po, um, yung mga, sa mga non-flying naman po, meron naman po tayong uh, maintenance officer training and meron din tayong maintenance training for enlisted personnel kasi ho, uh, yan po talagang napaka-importante rin na uh, facet of uh, flying an aircraft, yung mismo maintenance on the ground. No? At the same time, uh, meron po tayong other specialization skills, uh, logistics training, 
Um, meron din po tayong training for finance officers. Uh, meron tayong training for explosive uh, experts. May training tayo for special operations. Meron tayong training for canine operations. Iba-iba po. Talagang lahat po ng skills. Halos meron na Philippine Air Force. Hindi lang po tayo focus sa lipad. Marami na rin. So, hindi, hindi pa huhuli. Of course, yeah. Pero doon sa aspect ng lipad, uh, Karen and Castillo, how do you get to be a, uh, air, an Air Force pilot? Anong, anong stages yung pagdadaanan mo to be a pilot? Maswerte po kami nung panahon namin, straight from hmm. PMA, talagang lahat kami, lahat ng 38 kami, no, nag, uh, pumasok uh, sa Air Force, diretso kami ng flying. Flying Pero ho, siguro nung umabot sa point, kasi ho, um, maraming sources of commission ang pumapasok sa Air Force. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang po PMA graduates, meron po tayong mga graduates ng uh, Philippine Air Force uh, Officer Candidate School, meron din po tayong from the reserve ranks, nagiging officer sila. And, um, uh, kumbaga ho, um, sa dami rin po talaga ng uh, pinanggalingan, ng mga officers ng Air Force, they have to compete. Ngayon ho, yun na ho trend ngayon eh. They really have to compete for the limited slots for flying. Mm -hmm. So, we make sure na talagang yung mga officers natin, young officers who would qualify for flying training, piling-pili po talaga sila. Mm -hmm. So, they go through a battery of, uh, ano po, uh, uh, ano yan, um, examinations. May, may written examination po yan. And then, same time, they have to undergo um Um, meron din yung physical requirements yan. So, dapat they also have to be strong and physically fit for it. Mataas dapat yung kanilang ranking in terms of physical fitness. At the same time, yun din um, very strict ano po, um, neuro uh, and physical medical examinations. Mm -hmm. That's my age requirement din po. Mm -hmm. uh, po as, um, I, if I'm not mistaken, you should be able to enter the flying school before you turn 28. Turn 28. Oh. Okay. Hindi na tayo pwede. Hindi. Hindi. Wala na pag-asa, Chito. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, 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 Colonel, uh, can you share any uh, recent successes uh, and or achievement ng uh, Philippine Air Force that, uh, you know, uh, oh. you are the, the military, the entire AFP is uh, particularly proud of? Well, aside from the fact po na talagang nailatag namin ng mabuti, no? Mm -hmm. Yung ating uh, acquisition program, ang dami na po nating dumating na bagong air assets in the past years, uh, which is part of our Horizon 1 and Horizon 2, no? So ito po, this is what we're really very proud of, yung acquisition natin ng mga bagong aircraft assets na talagang napalakas natin ang pwersa ng ating Philippine Air Force and uh, na-increase natin capability natin to respond to the different needs of the armed forces of the Philippines at the same time yung uh, needs ng ating national government no, for different air operations. Pero isa ko sigurong very proud din kami is yung uh, bago naming na-achieve na kami pa lang po ang naka uh, nakagawa so far yung ating performance-based logistics. Kasi ako, oh, talagang problema natin ngayon sa um, uh, acquisition and sustainment of our air assets is yung uh, kapag ho, nasisiraan tayo, lalo na kapag mga big ticket items na napakamahal and kuminsan ho, hindi nagmamatch sa cycle ng ating procurement, yung budget cycle. Kasi mm. meron ho tayong batas eh. Mm. The same time, uh, we are also restricted kung ano lang yung nasa budget natin, which is uh, approved by Congress on a yearly basis, di ba? So, when, whenever we have big ticket items to sustain our aircraft, kumisan doon tayo nahihirapan, kaya yung operational readiness rate ng ating aircraft, uh, ganito karami aircraft natin, pero ganito lang yung lumilipad, okay. uh -huh. the most, kasi may mga nakatenga, kasi nga yung procurement cycle natin for the needed spares is nagtatagal because uh -huh. of the budget cycle and the tediousness of the procurement cycle. Mm -hmm. And so we came up with this new concept which we call performance-based logistics na mas mapapabilis na po yung sustainment ng ating aircraft assets. Mm -hmm. And 
so far we are proud po na meron na po tayong na-approve na kontrata for one of the uh, for our types of aircraft na gagamitin na po tong bagong concept na uh, inintroduce ng Philippine Air Force yung performance-based logistics. Mm. How does it work yung performance-based logistics? Pali po, uh, instead po, pali po ang kinokontrata na ngayon sa isang uh, proponent po is yung uh, they have, they are required, maga, uh, makukuha nila yung kontrata but they are required to immediately provide the aircraft requirements for sustainment of a certain aircraft for a period, multi-year na po siya. So, mm, hindi na po, hindi na yung, uh, uh, po, hindi na po yeah. yung on-need basis na siraan ako ng ganito, mm, mag-procure ako nito, tapos mm, tatagal na naman yung, yung cycle for procurement of that specific item. Mm, Dahil po nakakontrata na ko yung uh, service contract po sa isang proponent. Mm, Mas, anytime we need it po, they are uh, required to provide the service or the item that we need to sustain the uh, operations of that aircraft. Okay. So, uh, Colonel, when you mentioned mo kanina, you were mentioning, uh, you mentioned about Horizon 1, Horizon 2. Ilan ba ang horizons? I mean, uh, in, in the, in the, uh, in the, you know, in terms of yung sa, sa jargon ng, uh, ano, ng Philippine Air Force, ilan ba ito lahat sila? Actually, sa AFP po, no? Hanggang Horizon 3 po tayo. Okay. Horizon 2 and then yung lahat po ng Horizon 2 projects natin nakakontrata na po siya awaiting mm -hmm. na lang po for delivery to mga air assets na expect natin under Horizon 2 and then Horizon 3 is another set of planning po for the future ano po, acquisitions mm -mm. so uh, Chito tatanungin ko lang to I, mm. I cannot help but ask kasi in the past kasi in the past years that was uh, I mean long ago Mm. Not too long ago. Every time that there's, you know, a, an air mishap, you know, involving, you know, uh, air assets of, of the Philippine Air Force, lagi nilang term is, ano, flying coffins. Okay. Mm. Term nila palagi yeah, yeah, yun, flying yeah. coffins. Do we still, I mean, meron pa bang ganun? Kasi we understand, kay, tinawag na flying coffins kasi, alam mo yun, mga luma na, uh, Mm, hindi na may maintain. Hindi na na may maintain or, or whatever. Basta, basta ang term dun eh, flying coffins. Mm. Do, do we still have those in, you know, in, in the present uh, Philippine Air Force? Well, right now po, ang range of air assets that we maintain in the Philippine Air Force are composed of the new acquisitions. At the same time, meron pa rin po tayong talagang mga aircraft that we've been using already for several years. No? Mm -hmm. Kasi as long as ginagamit pa naman po yung type of aircraft na yon in other countries and spares are still available, we mm -hmm. continue to maintain them. At kung sakaling serviceable pa naman po siya at safe naman siya to fly, we just ensure yung safest, ano, yung pong ating uh, uh, increased po yung ating capabilities, enhancing capabilities natin in maintaining those air assets. No? Kasi uh, sa totoo lang po, ang uh, mishap naman, it can even happen even to the newest aircraft eh, kung hindi mo talaga susundin yung tamang mm -hmm. procedures at the same, yeah, not, not only flying procedures, but the same time yung maintenance and sustainment procedures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, even if nagme-maintain tayo ng mga uh, not so new aircraft, mm -hmm. we ensure that we have the highest standards in terms of maintaining these air assets. So, I think it all boils down po talaga sa, on how you maintain and sustain those aircraft regardless if they're old or new. Mm -hmm. Sa bagay, so, sa, sa lupa nga, eh, meron nga mga, I mean, who drives... Oh, nah. uh, there are uh, cars na tipong uh, 15 years na, di ba? May hmm. ganun. So, Parang ayun. mas safe pa nga pag nasa air eh. Oo. So, uh, last question, Chito. We have our last question ah, for, for, uh, for Colonel. Yeah, Colonel, I just want to ask, uh, well, I want to know kung lately ba maraming ano, violations of our air, airspace. I mean, lalo na doon sa ano, disputed area. Sa West Philippine Sea. Uh, right now, sir, I, I'm not uh, in a position to uh, give information. <laughs> but definitely po, kahit sa airspace naman po, uh, in any other country, there are these types of experiences po. 
Kaya ho, mas importante ho talaga na mas mapalakas pa natin ang ating, na-mention ko kanita, ang ating integrated uh, air defense system for us to be able to detect. No? We need mm. more uh, radars. Uh, and it's a good thing that uh, our radars are already on their way here. Uh, kasama na po yun sa ating Horizon 2. Uh, we need uh, these radars up and going, um, uh, up and, uh, kumbaga, functional for us to be able to monitor our uh, whole archipelago to include our exclusive economic zones. Mm. And whenever they detect an intrusion, we should be able to have a uh, faster, stronger, and um, uh, ano, faster and stronger and more capable aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we also need more uh, multi-role fighters to be able to respond well, to detect, uh, and to uh, uh, intercept this uh, intrusions into our airspace and drive them away from our territory from our uh, from our airspace mm -hmm. so yun po yung importansya talaga na masuportahan ng yung hukbong himpapawid in terms of our modernization programs yung mga fighters no? yes sir multi-row fighters pero ngayon detect... do you scramble para pag merong intrusion Yes po, it's part of our ano po, uh, protocols na whenever there are detected intrusions into our airspace, our fighter uh, aircraft are uh, are deployed to uh, intercept kung ano man po itong mga intrusions po sa ating airspace mm -hmm. na kailangan nating i-escort away from our territory. Mm -hmm. So, ayun. So, oh, well, dapat talaga may ano yun, so, mga modern na uh, oh, jet thing, fighters. I mean, dadating naman siguro si Santa Claus for, for the wish list of the <laughs> Philippine Air Force. So, uh, maraming salamat po, Colonel, Colonel Bond. And, Emma, opo, parting Mom, words po from, from you for our viewers. Yes, uh, Ma'am Gigi and uh, Sir Chito, maraming salamat po for this opportunity. It's our pleasure. Opo, on behalf of our Commanding General, Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, and from the men and women of your Philippine Air Force, we thank you very much for this opportunity for us to be able to share what's been going on in uh, your uh, Philippine Air Force. And uh, uh, from our side, our commitment is to continually uh, strengthen our force to be able to become a more capable, credible, and sustainable Air Force that can serve you better, our country and people. So, maraming salamat po ulit. Thank you so much, uh, Colonel Bon uh, Castillo, uh, the spokesperson of the Philippine Air Force and one of the two uh, lady spokesperson ng... Two lang ba? Dalo I mean, sa branches of service ng military. Oh, it's military. The, uh, yung sa AFP and sa, sa Philippine police. Air Force. Uh, and... Uh, Thank you, um, Samuli, uh, till Wednesday. Uh, tune in again to uh, Straight Talk. And thank you, Gigi. Uh, we uh, see us again on Wednesday for another uh, live episode of Straight Talk. I'm Chito Lozada. I'm Gigi Arcelia. Watch Straight Talk, Straight Talk Live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. on Lady Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now on YouTube.